What's up guys, it's Drifts and Lifts here. All right, so today's episode, I got a really short one for you guys. Um, as you can see, we have the panel wagon up in the air here at Post Haste Performance. So uh, I actually figured I'd take this video to show you guys the uh, ZF swap. So we're pretty much done the ZF swap, the BMW ZF swap in the, uh, in the panel wagon here. So I'm just gonna do a little overview of kind of all the stuff that we did. Um, if you guys are interested in doing something like this on your cars, uh, you know, it kind of give you an idea of all the steps and stuff that it took. So, um, yeah, so as you can see under here, that is a BMW transmission in a Volvo. So really cool. I'm super excited for this. Uh, it's going to make this car drive a lot better, um, better gear ratios, way stronger, better at shifting at higher RPM. It's just a much better transmission than the stock uh, Volvo M47 that I was running. So, uh, let's kind of start with, um, the transmission itself so as you guys can see uh, the only way to install one of these into a, a volvo is actually getting the bell housing re-welded so shout out to my friend dennis blom from sweden he actually did this all for me um sent me this tranny from sweden uh with a bunch of other parts that you know help make it work and that kind of thing so i um, really thankful that i was able to have a good friend from sweden that could do this for me because uh you know i probably could have got it done at a local shop um but these guys have jigs for it and it would have taken a little bit more of like research and development to kind of figure it all out um at a local shop but uh next time you know if i ever do blow up this transmission at least i have this transmission so i can bring it to somebody and be like i want this exactly how this is more or less so um but yeah so as you can see it's got uh the M47 bell housing welded to the ZF transmission. So all the things that it took uh, to get this in here, cool thing is I actually was able to run my stock uh, M47 dog dish flywheel. So I'm actually running the same spec pressure plate that uh, I was running in this car before. The only difference is I'm running a BMW 325i uh, clutch disc so obviously the spline is different on the input shaft of this transmission compared to the Volvo one um, but luckily the e, uh, the 335 or sorry the 325 E36 transmission has the same diameter clutch uh, disc as the M47 transmission so pretty cool I was actually able to run just that uh, clutch disc with my you know stock flywheel as well as the Volvo pressure plate so Really cool there, you know, that all works out. So um, as far as the tranny mount goes, see if you guys can get, get some light on here. So we actually used a, uh, a Volvo factory like automatic transmission mount and um, we kind of modified it as you can see, um, just did kind of like a tube, cut it. It's got to be raised a certain amount. How we did it is we actually took an angle finder on the drive shaft. So, uh, you know, we got our angles. This should be really good because um, I think we have the, the angle of this all really nice. Um, we shouldn't have any vibration at this point. So, so this drive shaft right here, guys, is from an M90 transmission from a European 940 Volvo. So luckily the BMW output flange as well as the M90 drive shaft actually use the same Guibo. Um, so I'm running, you know, a stock Guibo in there. Just got a brand new one just so it's all nice. Um, really dope. It just, you know, it's it seems like a really perfect bolt up setup just because of this alone in my opinion um, but if we go over to here i got a new center support bearing installed and i actually got this drive shaft balanced by pat's driveline so shout out to those guys we got a new center support bearing as well as the center support bearing uh bushing and the mount so the only thing i had to do was i actually had to hollow out these holes a little bit and run them a little bit more towards the front of the car because when i sucked this up against the transmission with these bolts um, the center support bearing actually needed to come a little bit more this way. So uh, super easy. I just took a Dremel and kind of, you know, made the holes a little longer. So that all works out. You can use the stock center support bearing mount, obviously. Um, nothing wrong there. And this drive shaft on the rear here is just uh, stock, you know, uh, Volvo rear drive shaft. So nothing crazy. Same kind of thing. And the M M90, I should mention, is uh, I only had to use the front half of the shaft. So this is a two piece drive shaft. So I was able to just use the front half with the M90. So really sick. I used uh, some Volvo, actually just Volvo engine mounts. Um, and I just shaved the stud off of the bottom so I could fit on those, um, the pipes there. Uh, so yeah, that's all, you know, it's really sick. So um, this transmission has two of these rubber pucks instead of one like the M46, M47 does. 
So a little more solid, might be a little more, you know, uh, less movement and that kind of thing. One thing about the stock Volvo transmissions, if your mount gets like a little bit old, uh, the transmission starts moving around quite a bit just because it's only held in with one rubber mount. So um, also if you look up here, guys, we got our TXR, TRX, TXR shifter. Um, so that's a company in Sweden, they make these. What we did is we welded the plate to the body of the panel wagon and uh, yeah, it all fits up super nicely. Another really cool thing, guys, is that this shifter rod actually just goes right on the BMW transmission. So it has the same kind of design to attach it to the transmission, um, like a ball and a socket and a pin. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's literally the perfect length. So couldn't be any more, you know, perfect, honestly, um, as far as transmission swaps go. So uh, that's pretty much like the transmission is all in. So the last thing we got to do guys is uh, we're gonna be installing our slave cylinder here. So what I did is I actually took the stock Volvo clutch line, the hard line, and I bent a little bit, uh, just so I could get a little bit more length out of this thing. And luckily I got my good friend Fraz and he's a machinist. So he actually just machined this line down. Um, so it fits in the BMW slave cylinder. So, you know, if you don't have a really cool specialty machinist friend that can just quickly do that for you, he's literally right across the street. Um, but you're gonna have to run like a different line or whatever, but that's no big deal. Uh, really simple stuff, right? So. The slave's just gonna go in there. Um, the only thing we're hung up on right now is the, we're gonna have to extend the slave cylinder rod because it doesn't quite give us enough length to actually uh, disengage the clutch. So everything else though, guys, is a really straight up bolt-in swap. It's like, it's almost too perfect, honestly. So um, not a long video today, guys. I just wanted to show you this. Um, you know, sorry I didn't really uh, film much of the actual installation process. <laughs> the, the funny thing was this transmission's so lightweight that uh, I was actually able to just like toss it in myself with nobody around. Um, you know, I could literally bicep curl it up and just throw it in. Super light, I think this transmission weighs like 75 pounds, 80 pounds, something like that. So yeah, um, this transmission takes ATF oil. So it is a BMW ZF 320Z or uh, 320D I think it's called. So, um, you know, people say these transmissions hold a lot of power. The guys are running 700 plus wheel horsepower in E36 BMWs and like drag racing them with this transmission. So, you know, it's gonna hold up. Uh, we're hoping to make around like the 400 range uh, with this car. Once we get it back on the dyno here at Post Ace. So, um, really dope. I actually had to use a bit shorter bolts just so it didn't come in contact with the, uh, I'll try to get you guys a little video here. Uh, it's all, it's in gear actually, so. I'll just wait up for a sec, but um, yeah guys, uh, that's, that's pretty much the, the transmission swap in a nutshell.